Welcome back to the Tutor Lounge where we bring you the music, the tutors and the tutorial. And uh, today again we've got Dave here. Hi. Um, he's going to uh, give us a few rundowns on guitars and uh, follow up a little on um, what happened uh, last time we were in. Uh, he's going to do it a little bit differently this time. Over to you Dave. Thanks Grant. Hi, yeah, uh, that's the tune I started with was what I did uh, in the last episode. Um, it's, uh, it's a little blues tune that I wrote. And uh, I, was, I was thinking that um, it's all good. I'd like to get back to that tune uh, on another episode, possibly, um, if people are interested. But what I thought for, for someone who's beginning the guitar or intermediate level, I thought I'd include that last bit that I just did then, which was, which was called the blues rundown. And the blues rundown, it's something that you do at the end of a blues progression, but it also leads it, it, leads it back in almost like a start, if you like, to, to the next round. And so the blues rundown is what I'm going to uh, show you now. Um, yeah, so it basically what it is, is it, it goes like this. I'll play it first. It's just that. And uh, if I break it apart slowly, it should be accessible to most beginning guitarists. Okay, so. Uh, do you know the names of your strings? If you know the name, this, this is an E, A, D, G, B, and E string. What I'm playing here is the G string and the E string. Uh, commonly that's known as the first string and the third string. So this is what I do. It doesn't matter which fingers you use on this hand. It's not important so much. But I do the G string, the E string, and back to the G string on the fourth fret. Do the same thing on the third fret. G string, E string, G string on the third fret. On the second fret, the same thing. And then I play the G string open. On the first fret, I play the G string. And then I play the last E string open. And then on the A string, which is the fifth string, I do zero, one, two. That's the whole thing. then takes you back into the and this is a super common kind of blues groove isn't it rundown it's just used hundreds of thousands of times in, in blues music isn't it? different variations of it yeah that particular variation was taught to me by an 11 year old boy at one of the schools I teach at right eh? at Whangarei Intermediate yeah? can't remember his name but uh good plug for Whangarei Intermediate though yeah well, well yeah well Dave. It was, it was awesome. Absolutely so what were you awesome. doing before that? You know, what was your like rundown? Is there, can you show us another break? My rundown was yeah. a chord one, which I still use sometimes, but it goes like this. Right. Which kind of fits over the top of that. Sometimes oh, yeah. I get one person playing that one and, and then I'll, I'll play. Nice. And it fits. So yeah. Right on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, in tablature, were you going to show us something? Do you have anything? Um, I was thinking in another episode. Right, okay. When so I you'll bring back the tablature that, in of that? I'll bring the tablature of that. But okay. for now, I just wanted to explain this, explain which strings I was doing. That, and I, hopefully I've done a good job at doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you certainly have, mate. Um, you comfortable with that? Is there anything else you want to um, you know, uh, show while we're I'll just, I'll just play it again slowly. Good on you, man. Okay, yeah. here we go, yeah. and then I'll play it again at normal speed. speed would be back into the nice man cool fantastic man. that's it in a nutshell Good on you. Thanks for coming in again, mate. And yep. uh, look forward to the next time. As, yep. um, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there uh, who are listening and uh, learning from that, mate. And that's the idea of the show. 
Very cool, it's, man. It's been a pleasure to be here, Grant. Excellent. Good luck, guys.